G'day, you mob. Pete here from Aussie English. Welcome to this pronunciation episode where today I'm going to be teaching you the difference between the vowel sounds O oh and OR. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so this is an advanced pronunciation lesson today where I'm going to be teaching you how to pronounce the difference between the two vowel sounds O oh and OR, like in the words cock and cork or bot and bought. The lesson's going to be broken up into four different sections. In part one, we're going to practice pronouncing oh. In part two, we're going to practice pronouncing or. Part three is going to be a comparative pronunciation exercise between the two sounds oh and or. And part four is going to be a listening comprehension test to test your listening skills to see if you can differentiate between the vowel sounds oh and or in a number of different words. Now, I've got detailed tutorial videos about how to produce each one of these sounds, and I'll show you where you can get access to them later on in the episode. Anyway, let's get into today's content. So, part one, let's go over the sound oh, which is often represented by this symbol in the IPA. You're going to hear the vowel sound oh in words like what, cock, and not. The oh vowel sound is a short vowel sound in Australian English pronunciation and will always be followed by a consonant. And here are a list of some of the common ways that you'll see the oh vowel sound in English spelt. For podcast listeners, go and check out the video so that you can see the spelling and some example words. All right, so let's practice this sound. I'm going to say the vowel sound oh by itself three times, and then I'm going to read through a list of 10 words that include this vowel sound. So, listen and repeat after me. Oh. 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 Cock. Pod. Not. Walk. What? Dock. Rot. Cause. Con. Great work. Let's get into part two. All right, so now we're going to go over the vowel sound OR, which is represented by this symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet. You're going to hear the vowel sound OR in words like wart, cork, and naught. The vowel sound OR has a number of different spellings, and you can see them on the screen now. Remember, if you're listening to this podcast, check the video out so that you can see these common spellings and some example words. So, let's practice the OR vowel sound in English. And remember, this is a long vowel sound compared to the short O. Oh, vowel sound that we just went over, OR is a long vowel sound. So, in this exercise, I'm going to say the vowel sound OR by itself three times, and then I'm going to say 10 words that include the OR vowel sound, okay? So, listen and repeat after me. OR, 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 CORK. Poured. Nought. Walk. Wart. Dork. Rort. Cause. Corn. Great work. Now it's time for part three. So, in this section, we're going to practice some minimal pairs, which are pairs of words that only differ 
in one sound. And in this case, it's going to be this vowel sound or these vowel sounds, o oh and or. Every other sound in these words is exactly the same. The difference is just these vowel sounds, okay? But before we get into that, I know how important good pronunciation is to English learners just like you. My students often tell me about how they worry about not sounding professional at work, not being able to communicate clearly, and lacking confidence when they speak, which often holds them back from speaking at all. I've helped thousands of students overcome these issues and level up their English pronunciation inside my Australian pronunciation course. The course helps students level up their speaking confidence, allows them to communicate easily and effectively, and most importantly, to sound more Australian. When you join the Australian Pronunciation course today, you're going to get instant access to detailed video tutorials for every single vowel sound and consonant sound in Australian English. You're going to get video exercises and tongue twisters so that you can perfect these sounds and sound much more like an English native speaker. And you're going to get access to 25 advanced pronunciation lessons that cover things like the Australian R, the syllabic N and the syllabic L. All of these advanced things that you can learn to sound much more like a native Australian English speaker. So join today and let's level up your pronunciation skills together. I'll see you in there. Anyway, back to the lesson. So practicing these two sounds side by side is really important if you want to learn how to pronounce the sounds distinctly. So I'm going to repeat 10 pairs of words, 10 minimal pairs where the only difference between these words is going to be one has the vowel sound off and the other has the vowel sound or. The first word in each pair will have the vowel sound off and the second will have the vowel sound or. Are you ready? Let's go. Cock. Cork. Pod. Pored. Not. Nought. Walk. Walk. What. Wart. Dock. Dork. Rot. Rort. Cause. Cause. Con. Corn. Awesome work. Now it's time for part four. So in the last section here, we're going to test your hearing skills, your listening skills to work on differentiating between these two similar vowel sounds in English, o oh and or. Don't be discouraged if you find this part difficult and you need to repeat it several times. That's just what it takes to dial your ears in so that you can hear the difference between these sounds. Repetition is going to be key and it's going to be the thing that ultimately allows you to hear the difference between these two vowel sounds and most importantly, to produce the difference between these two vowel sounds when you're speaking English. So I'm going to display the minimal pairs we went over previously on the screen here, but I'm only going to say one of these words each time. So your job is to write down on a piece of paper a, B, for which sound, which word you think you hear. And then I'll give you the answers at the end. So, A is going to represent the sound O, oh, as in pot. And B is going to represent the long vowel sound OR, as in walk. Let's do it. Cock. Poured. Nought. Walk. Wart. Dock. Rot.
cause. Con. Good job, guys. So, the answers are now on the screen. I hope you did well. And if you're listening to this uh, on the podcast, the answers are A, B, B, A, B, A, A, B, A. How'd you go? So, that's it for today's episode, guys. Don't forget, if you want to level up your Australian pronunciation, check out my Australian pronunciation course below. Also, make sure that you like the video if you liked it. Share the video with your mates who are learning Australian English and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification button so that you can join me in the next lesson. I'm Pete. This is Aussie English. It's been a pleasure and I'll see you later. Toot